No question I'm an optimist about the future. I'm a super optimist. Each of us have access to tremendous amounts of capital on crowdfunding, venture capital, more capital than any time ever in human history. We also each individually have access to the world's information, access to more processing power than the United States president did, you know, just 30 years ago. If someone truly wants to solve a problem, we can. My parents were both from a small island in Greece, and I was born and grew up in New York, uh, expecting to become a physician. But at the end of the day, became passionate about space travel and passionate about exponential technology. And both of those manifested themselves in my founding two organizations, the XPRIZE Foundation, which uh, works on creating large-scale global incentive prizes to uh, incentivize teams to solve grand challenges. And then Singularity University in Silicon Valley, which focuses on teaching entrepreneurs and executives about all the rapidly growing technologies, computers, sensors, networks, AI, robotics, 3D printing, synthetic biology, all these technologies that are empowering individuals to do what only governments and large corporations could do before. And that tied with the 17 companies I've started over the years has been sort of the exponential journey I've been on. What's going to change society, I think, is a democratization of education and healthcare. Uh, today, if you think about it, the poorest child on the planet with a cell phone has access to as much information as the CEO of Google. You know, there's this Google is the same for the poorest child on Google and the wealthiest billionaire on Google. Just complete evening of the playing field. There is a tsunami of change coming. Um, on the environmental side, uh, what I'm most excited about is the revolution in solar. We live in a world that is bathed in 5,000 times more energy from the sun than we consume as a species in a year. In fact, the poorest parts of the earth are the sunniest parts of the earth. And so I can imagine over the next 10 to 20 years, this rapid increase in the amount of energy derived from, from solar. And I think you make uh, a nation healthier and better educated, it transforms everything and it really changes our world. Whenever you digitize a technology, it goes into a very slow, deceptive growth, and then it becomes disruptive. And the ones that I'm focused on right now that I think are deceptive in most CEOs' world, that will be disruptive in changing industries, it'll be five to 10 times cheaper for people to be chauffeured around in an autonomous car than owning a car. So the poorest people will be chauffeured around, right? It's gonna transform how our cities are laid out, uh, how we spend our time commuting. Uh, augmented reality. In the future, within the next five years, we're all gonna be wearing some kind of augmented reality glasses that are gonna be feeding us data about the world that we're interacting with. Um, and it's gonna be as prevalent as cell phones are today. I mean, billions of these things develop worldwide. Uh, the other thing that's very deceptive today is the impact of blockchain. Uh, I think blockchain is going to have an impact on almost every aspect of our business. I'm not talking about Bitcoin, which is a specific application of blockchain, but blockchain itself as a, as a platform uh, for ownership um, that will make the sharing economy, you know, a hundred or a thousand times more prevalent, uh, that will uh, change how we transfer uh, uh, value and remittances between national borders. You know, you can add on to that, of course, artificial intelligence, you can add on synthetic biology, you can add on explosion of sensors and networks. All of these things uh, are going to transform our society massively over the next decade. I think if I could change one thing, it's to uh, get people to stop focusing on the negative, to be scared about the future, but instead to feel empowered uh, and given the confidence that they can in fact go and change the world, which in fact they can.